are in Ellisville, Mississippi. Which is our neighbor six minutes down the road. We're here because Charlie and Melissa are the new minister's family at Ellisville Presbyterian Church and the church has given them a manse. For our family, it was a parsonage. For their family, it's a manse. Ben's a preacher's kid. He's been here. It's part of the compensation. They provide a home for the minister to live in. How many kids? Five, one, two, three, four, five. And mom and dad, six, seven. What I do like about the house is that we are close together as a family, um, kind of forced to be that way. <laughs> but everyone has a place to sleep. We've got them sharing rooms. We're trying to make the best of the small situation. It's pretty much going to stay the same, yeah. but we want to make this a little bit easier. So what I think would work is if we did benches in an L shape. Oh, All right. yeah. Big table. I mean, as you know, if you have a bench, you can really pack a lot of people into yes. a bench. Mm -hmm. Especially so, kids. Especially yeah. little kids, perfect. Okay, and then your kitchen. Okay, we can work with the footprint your kitchen has right now, but we would have to delete a lot, okay? So delete the tile countertops. Yes. Delete the uppers. And now let's bring in colorful lower cabinet, yes. new butcher block countertops. Mm -hmm. And over here we could build new cabinetry that wraps around this window so you have a refrigerator enclosure. And then here is where it gets a little complicated. So this becomes a foyer. A cased opening into a foyer. Oh, right. And then your okay. carport that's just bike storage right now becomes a living room. Wow. wow. Adding the carport to the house, it's 300 extra square feet of living. All right, hey. Welcome to the church house. <laughs> you can choose to stay here or not, but... What do you like about this house? Yeah, I would love to know. It's a roof over our head. I mean, yeah. we don't want to be ungrateful or complain. But stylistically, you're not in love. It's not ideal. So what if the church house looked more like this? Nice. Love the front door, the big window. The carport becomes a living room with these big floor-to-ceiling black steel windows, and then paint all of the house a creamy off-white, get rid of these columns, so the old door would become like a living wall. I love it. Okay. Yeah, it looks like a totally different house. And we can do all of this for 85 grand. So, maybe you love this. Mm -hmm. Maybe you still wish that it was a little bit bigger. Maybe you just want another option. Maybe yeah. you want to see <laughs> something else. So, we've got another house we want to show you. Okay. It's very different from this. Okay. All right. This, my friends, is the Collins House, okay. named for Ermgard and Hillman Collins. They lived here for 35 years. This house is in Laurel, but it's a quick drive. Yeah. Really quick drive to Ellisville. Good news, the house is 2,400 square feet. Wow. Huge. Almost yeah. a thousand more right. than the church house. Yeah. And four bedrooms. Yeah. And we think you can get it for 45,000. Great price yeah. for a house. It is. It's like a new paint job, it yep. seems like. Yeah, it's so in good shape. It's in good shape. good shape. This is what I'm thinking of the Collins house. Ta da! Ta -da. It's the same, it's pretty the much. Same. It's in good shape, right? So right. we can yeah. save yeah. your money on the outside and do very little. New front door, new porch light, new screen doors on that screened in porch over there. Yeah. Just clean up the landscaping, let the really nice things shine because yeah. I want to spend your money inside. Okay. Come in, come in. Look at all the wow. space. What? Come on, get in, get in here. <laughs> it's hard to see past the finishes mm -hmm. right now. It's very 60s. Yeah. But listen, y'all, I want to talk about Wait, that. Aaron. <laughs> I want to talk about something. Oh, what do you wow. want to talk about? Safety, <laughs> nice. security. We're not leaving until <laughs> we reach a decision. Listen, look how spacious it is. It's big. So in here, imagine if we got rid of this huge hulking massive bar and all the spindles that go with it and we got rid of all the carpet and we put down a luxury vinyl tile and then this becomes kind of a sleek, more streamlined home workstation. Yeah. yeah. It's huge. A lot of space. Right. Also, hello, convertible cabinets. There you wow. go. <laughs> Extra storage. And carpet in the kitchen. Who doesn't love that? Who doesn't love carpet in the kitchen? <laughs> yeah. Wow. wow. We could put a ping pong table over there. Hammock out here. Uh -huh. Yeah. The kids could play out here. It's There's no money in the budget to do anything out here, really, but I don't think you need to. You can just clean it. We love a good outdoor space. You've got 2,400 square feet 
four bedrooms, two baths. So plenty of room here. And at a purchase price of 45,000, that gives us 40 to play with. We're not talking about doing a lot to the house. It's it just depends awful. on what your priorities are right now. I think that's what your decision really comes yeah. down to. It feels like we're choosing a bigger space, a more comfortable space over it being closer to the church and uh, making the most of what the church has to offer us. We don't want to keep y'all all day. I just want yeah. to see the church. It's beautiful, but I do want to know if y'all talk about a house. You walk around? We do like the size of the Collins house, but then we also love the church house mostly because of the location. We can walk to church on Sunday morning, so we've decided to go with the church house. Oh my gosh! <laughs> we feel like the church house represents us. Yeah. It's kind of like us. It's kind of tired, it's been through a lot, <laughs> <laughs> but it still wants to do some good in the world, just needs a little love. Yeah. A little love and care. <laughs> Watch your fingers. What do you think, Austin? Look. Yeah. It looks like it was planned. I mean, well, it was. It was planned. But it was, was planned, planned, but it looks like it was planned. Yeah. Which is always the plan. Look at how you can see it now. You can see what this is going to be. Imagine when this is all done and it's not disgusting. And we have flooring in here that's all one level. So there's a weird little thing happening with the floor between kitchen, foyer, and living room carport. Three levels, the top level, then this is the second level, then this is the third level. And we weren't anticipating that. We're just gonna make like a little raised foundation just in the living room. So it's like we put down wood studs in the floor and then make a new subfloor for the new LVT that's gonna go over it. And then in that way, we have just two surfaces. You got it? I gave you the light end. Okay. We're not making the kitchen any bigger. We're making it feel bigger and adding storage. Because we were able to save the lowers and actually some of the uppers, and we're just refacing them. And think about this. All the cabinets that were there, we saved, and we're adding... Just as many on the opposite side. It's crazy. Awesome. This is really exciting. We got a bedroom, huh? Yeah. And? It's separate from the dining room. That's right. Closet, that's huge. So, big closet. Perfect for two they girls. They can use it for a shoes. bedroom one day. <laughs> yeah, the two twin beds go here. Perfect fit. Cypress is a great outdoor wood. It doesn't require maintenance to keep it from rotting. It'll hold up in the weather. Yeah. And the color. The color is so good. Yeah, this is great because it finally connects what we've been doing on that side of the house with the renovation to yeah. this side of the house. This is one, yeah. you know, nice look. It'll always be the church house, but now it's also the Turner house. What? <laughs> Look, that's a completely different house. Man. What do you notice out here? Well, first of all, the landscaping and the wood trim and... <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Are you all right? Yes, yes. There's a front door. I cannot wait to put a Christmas wreath on that door. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Black trim around the windows and yeah. the wood. Goodness. The planners are really there to give you more landscaping, but also to break up the mental idea that that used to be a carport. Right, yeah. right. You don't think about it because the driveway doesn't just die into a window. Right. So. But that added over 300 square feet to the house. Yeah. That's Amazing. a lot. Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> On this house, oh, right. that's yeah. a lot. Yeah. You needed it. Yeah. yeah. Yes. The house finally has style. Yeah. yeah it it didn't have any kind of personality whatsoever before. I love it. I'm blown away. It's completely, <laughs> I, I never would have imagined, I can't imagine anything, but I never would have imagined <laughs> that. <laughs> oh my goodness. A <laughs> uh, living room. What? Holy guacamole. Does it feel like a carport? I can't even remember what it looked uh, like before. I remember there were just bicycles. Oh my goodness. Same laundry room, and that's actually the same door. Oh, oh my gosh, <laughs> look at this. What? You don't have to go outside? 
Oh my <laughs> gosh. What? How in the world? Man, I love the color, I countertops. Love it. I love the hood. <laughs> Look at this. They're gonna lose their minds. Yeah. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. Does it feel like it could be home? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this will always be the church house. Right. It'll always be a manse. Mm -hmm. It's also the Turner house now. Uh, Helen, what is this? Home. 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 That's, That's right. right, it is home. <laughs>